back. I miss you all so much. My life has been insane the last two to three weeks, which is why I've been MIA. I'm dealing with wedding stuff, which is exhausting by the way. Like, shit's like a full-time job, not gonna lie. We're also in the process of going through all my dad's things, which is like super emotional and also just a lot, you know, just a lot to do and a lot to take in. You know, so it's been a crazy few weeks, which is why I've been MIA. Something had to give, you know? But I'm back! Since I've been home and like sweats pretty much, and so uninspired because I've been fucking stressed, I'm gonna style up every single summer day dress that I own. All of them. Here they are. By the way, don't mind my bare mattress here. I'm doing the sheets, which I was like, this is actually great because then I don't have to make the bed because I'm not lazy. But here are all the dresses I'm gonna be styling up. It's gonna be fun. It's like a mix of so many different kinds of dresses. Life is getting back to normal, people. Get vaccinated, highly recommend doing it. I got vaxxed and I had like the first like semi-normal weekend that I've had in a long time. Highly recommend getting vaxxed. Do it for yourself, do it for your loved ones and for everybody else so that we can get past this thing. But anyway, I'm going off on tangents now. Let's talk about the outfits and all the amazing things you can style up this summer when you actually have places to go because it's happening. I haven't worn this dress in like two years and it feels so good to put it on. I bought this little lime green cutout number in Nice back when we went to France. I think it was in the summer of 2019. Love this dress. It's just so good for so many reasons. For one, this color is very on trend for the season. I love the little details, like these little silver buttons and the cutouts on the sides. It like is sexy without trying too hard. You know what I mean? The cutout, the color are so on trend. So it was like the best vintage find. Given the dress is like, you know, it's a statement, it speaks for itself. I wanted to keep like the shoes accessories like a little bit more tame. Given the buttons have that like silver detail, I went with the little silver clutch that y'all have seen a million times. It's my Zadig Voltaire bag. I did a silver hoop earring, which fun fact I've had since high school. And then I added this cute little layered. It looks like Smarties, doesn't it? This is from Bubble Bar a couple summers back. I really love it. I think it's super fun for summer and it brings out like those, you know, it just kind of adds to the whole pastel vibe of the look. For sandals, I have on these Zara jelly platforms because this feels a very early 2000s to me. So I needed to bring out like the jelly platform to really tie everything together. So Dress number one. This is another beautiful dress I have not had the chance to wear. It's a vintage nightgown from the 30s. I, I forget what this color is called. It's like a frost, like a very, very light blue, almost white, but with a blue tint to it. And it's got this like really beautiful detailing in the front. And the cool thing about this is I could wear it. I could wear this as the back and the back as the front because the back is just a little V. So beautiful. I don't know. It just feels so like ethereal. I feel like a fairy princess in this dress. I thought it looked great with the hair down because it kind of, you know, it's like very effortless, very fairy-like. Given it's such a feminine, romantic dress, I wanted to offset it with like an edgy accessory. So I added on this long necklace by John Hardy. It's a silver necklace. And I love long necklaces lately. I didn't think I'd be into them, but I feel like there's a way to make them work and I feel like it works with this outfit. So I used to wear these like back in the day, like 2000s and I thought I would never wear them again, but I'm kind of feeling it again, not gonna lie. I have on the same bag as you all just saw. And for sandals, I have on these square toe thrifted unlisted sandals, which if you watched my spring thrift haul video, that's where they were featured. Amazing find. They go so well with the dress. They're like these little silver satin shoes. It's like a little sexy square toe sandal. I'm trying to think like where I would wear this. Probably like dinner out or date night. You could wear it more cash, but I don't know. I feel like this dress is so beautiful. It warrants like an event to be worn to. You know what I mean? This dress. Number two. Also haven't worn this dress. This was a secondhand purchase from Vestier Collective. I want to say two years ago. Actually, it might have been last spring. It's a standard wrap dress. It's floral. So cutting edge, but honestly, it's a good floral. I thought the color combination was great. I love that it has some pink in it. 
this maroon green cream it's just like a really beautiful pattern i normally would not go for ruffles here in the chest area i feel like it works with this dress uh, one thing i recommend with wrap dresses like this they typically come with like their own belt and to really kind of elevate it i recommend adding your own belt to it which is what i did here this dress just comes with a standard belt that's the same pattern as the fabric of the dress and i added instead this patent thick waist belt that i thrifted it's club monaco from god knows when but i feel like it just you know makes the dress a little bit more interesting and a little different versus like your basic wrap dress and i have on my closure wedges these are some suede platform wedges that i love they're these beige cream color i got these on ukes for a killer deal this bag is by marlo it's a brand out of la that makes these bags it's like small batches sustainable brand I'll link to the brand in the description of the video if you want to check it out i love this color it's a flooring bag in brick i did put my hair up because i felt like there was a lot going on here and i wanted to dial it down a bit hair up in a little clip here which is like my go-to lately and then i have on these little escada vintage heart clip-on earrings the dress has a lot of shit going on it's got the flowers the ruffles the whole thing i wanted to keep the accessories semi-simple since the dress kind of speaks for itself hopefully i get a chance to wear this summer this is also another retro moment i feel like from what decade i don't know maybe like 80s this dress is from target believe it or not i was gifted this from target it's part of the who what wear collection like years ago and i held on to it because it's fucking cute and it's so comfortable it's the perfect dress to put on when you're like having a bloated day you know what i'm saying it's this acid wash denim it's got this cute little puff sleeve situation and it's a mini and it also has little pockets which i think definitely come in handy this reminds me of like something i would wear to a picnic as a kid a little girl's dress which is why i think it's awesome i wanted to play up that vibe and i added on these fun earrings these are like little watermelon statement earrings these are mini gabi gone love them i thought shit why not add more color so i have on my little la mer bag that you've seen a million times if you watch any of my videos because i'm obsessed with this bag and i wear it as much as possible i have on my zara platforms that you saw earlier it's a very casual look like i would wear this running errands grabbing lunch or brunch very much kind of like a cute day look that's super comfy very summery very retro another floral dress that i adore this is a reformation when they started making dresses that weren't like hanging by a thread so that girls with bigger boobs could wear them. Thank God they did. This dress is just so good and the fit is on point. I love the pattern. It's got this sexy slit on the side and in the back, it's got this cute little tie around the neck. Even this is a crew neck and obviously it's a patterned dress. I kept the accessories a little tame, I think. The earrings are definitely fun and statement, but they're white so they go with go with the pattern these earrings are by a chicago brand actually it's called at odds i love them they look like they're little floating pieces and they're mismatched which is so fun dig these and i love how they bring out i don't know i feel like they just pop because there's white in the pattern of the dress it just it just works for shoes some of my favorite sandals these are paloma barcelo from farfetch a couple summers back i love the white leather and how it brings out the white in the dress played up the maroon in the dress and accessorized with this cute little find from italy like i want to say it was like a summer ago but it was actually like three or four years ago which is insane to think about this is how i would wear this dress it's like a very i don't know the great thing about dresses is that you don't have to take that much time to style them up that's why they're the perfect summer item they're like great for hot weather easy to style you just need like a couple little accessories some fun shoes and you're ready to go so that's it. I have like nothing else to say about this outfit outside of the fact that it's so fucking cute, right? Don't you agree? Okay, this dress, I feel like my mom in the 90s. That's why I bought it. This is a vintage eBay find. I just kind of scouted. I was on the hunt for like a maxi linen dress and I found this and I was like, yes, that's exactly what I need. As mom as possible. That was the vibe I was going for with this. This dress is a blank canvas. Like you could do anything with it, which is what's fun about it. A button down linen material in this like khaki color it's very like safari desert vibes which is why i went with this little western belt to pair with it this is a thrifted leather belt with this cool western buckle i feel like it just really went with the you know western safari vibe of the dress of course i had to pair a brown platform sandal so i decided to add on a little 
hair scarf, which is also thrifted from, I wanna say last summer. This hair scarf has like so many fun colors in it, but it's got like the browns, cream, some like pastel blue and a pop of orange. I just think it went with the whole color scheme with like the brown leather and all that. Have my little hoop earrings on just because, I don't know. I feel like Esmeralda with my scarf, earrings, and hair. I have on my little Courage vintage bag. I kind of hesitated for a second here because it's got black. Since it's got black with like this camel color leather, I feel like it works with this look. I like the contrast of the black. It's kind of like a pop of something unexpected. The platforms, by the way, are from Ukes from like probably four or five years ago, so they're old. Honestly, like a platform sandal is the thing you need to buy this summer if you don't want a pair because not only are they comfortable, but they just elevate any outfit and like make a simple outfit not basic. That's my little 90s mom inspired linen maxi dress. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I want to show you the dress. I think I styled this one up for you not that long ago. It might have been like two videos ago. The exact same outfit because this is how I would wear this dress. It's just too good. This dress is a vintage find. It's like this black slinky material. I think it's from the 90s. It's definitely very 90s. And it has this like studding on the sleeves and this little sexy slit. Sandals are from Target actually. They're a little block heel. What wear collection sandal from years ago. Unfortunately, they don't have them anymore, but they look super expensive, I think, which is a huge win. I just went with a simple little silver hoop. There's a lot of silver happening in the outfit, and there's like not a need for like excessive jewelry with this dress. Have on my little silver bangles, did a cute little chunky silver ring. You've seen this purse a million times during this video, so I'm not gonna talk about it again. It's not necessary. I did put my hair back in a clip because I wanted to show, you know, the neckline and the little studding of the dress. I think that's what makes it cool. With hair down, you don't really get to see it. I think that this dress, because of the studding, it automatically to me is like a dressier dress, a night out or a date night type of dress, which is why, I don't know, I gravitated towards like a sexier sandal versus like, you know, my little tourist sandals as I call them or like a sneaker, I feel like it just doesn't work with this vibe. That's kind of why I went the way I did with styling it. This is a dress I also haven't gotten to wear. I will this summer, hopefully. It's just, I just feel so sexy in this dress. It's awesome. It kind of does feel like a club dress, but like in the best way possible. And I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling the club dresses for a while, like back in the 2000s. So like maybe it's that small part of me that's like, yes, here I am. <laughs> another linen dress because you can't have enough linen for summer. Let's be honest here. This is a dress from Massimo Duty that I got in Europe a few summers back. A few reasons why I love this dress. One, it's brown, which I think is such a great neutral and a neutral that I'm really loving as of late. It's just different from like the standard like white beige black. So love that it's brown. Love that it has thick straps because I want to wear a normal bra with it and it allows me to do that. I love how high it goes up in the back. Again, I can wear a normal bra with it, which is a game changer. So this is a dress too that had a belt that came with it. And I actually really liked this belt because I wanted to amp up the accessories versus a statement belt. I wanted to do like a statement accessory and add some color. To start with, I have on this little beaded choker necklace that I made myself. I took up beading over quarantine. It was like a, a hobby that I had as a kid and I started doing it again and I'm obsessed and I'm just like making bracelets and chokers left and right. So this is a little choker that I made. It's got some like pastel colors in it and it has brown, so it picks up the brown in the dress. So I thought this was a fun add for the dress. It's just like, you know, plain brown, add some pattern to it. Since I have some yellow happening in the necklace, I thought this little bag went well with this outfit too. I have on these little Cleasure straw platform sandals again with the platforms these were a poshmark find from last summer they were steel i'm not joking i think i got them for like 60 or 70 bucks in their pleasure which is mind-blowing that's this little mini linen dress you probably notice i have a shit ton of mini dresses mini and maxi dresses are like my favorite i think i look the best in them i feel the best in them but i try to pepper in some minis here and there too which you'll see throughout this video, but that's why you're seeing a shit ton of maxi and mini dresses because they're my favorite. And ending with the ultimate daytime dress look. This is like one of my favorite wrap dresses. I got it in Greece and it's by this brand called Caravan that has the cutest shit. 
Highly recommend checking them out. I'll link to them in the description of the video. They do ship to the US, so I think you all will love it. This is a wrap dress. It's kind of got this like kimono vibe to it. Like I love the edging detail, the fact that it has like black ribbon around it, the little neckline here. It's a really comfortable, easy dress to wear, right? You just wrap it on, very light, perfect for a hot day. And since it's very daytime, or at least that's how I wanted to dress it up, I paired my little tourist sandal that I referenced earlier in this video. These are the tourist sandals. These are from Camper on Farfetch. I have worn these to death the last two summers. Honestly, it's the easiest sandal to just slip on their Velcro, so I feel like I'm five again. They're the best. Love them, so comfortable. And I have on this little vintage bag from a boutique that no longer exists in Chicago. It's kind of like a crochet, like weave bag, and it's just so cute. I think it just goes with this look. I feel like I'm a mom, like going to the library with my children. And I'm owning it. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's great. For accessories, I just popped on my hoop earrings for like a very casual, you know, easygoing look. Didn't want to go nuts and like overly accessorized, given the outfit's like very simple and meant to be like hey, I just threw something together to like run a few errands. So that's what I got going on. I have my little gold rings on per usual. With this dress, since it's got the black ribbon on the edges, I actually wouldn't use another belt for this one. I would just use the belt that came with the dress because I think it just, adding a belt to this would just be overkill. It's just so beautiful and very delicate. It's this little daytime comfy wrap dress look. But those are all of my everyday summer dresses styled up. Hopefully you got some inspiration on how to style up your summer dresses this season because we're gonna be out and about this summer, guys. It's gonna be great. Love you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll chat with you in my next video. Bye.